Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be talking about how to um, create part of a realistic face. <clears throat> we are going to talk about, well last time you guys were in art we talked about how to draw our letters on our one half of our paper. So I'm going to quick review that. We talked about folding our paper in half the hot dog way which means it's a tall vertical way so we get a skinny rectangle on one side. Then we talked about um, writing our letters out and spacing them out very lightly with a pencil so that we could fit our name on one half of our paper. Okay, and then we talked about going around the outside of those letters to make them into bubble letters or thick letters that we could color in. Okay, now I can choose if I want to um, erase the inside out or I could make that part of my design and put a zigzag line on it or um, leave it straight and when I color it in, make it a different color. You can be creative about how you want to design your letters, okay? After you design your letters, you're gonna come up with one shape or you know, like a simple shape or thing that you can put in the background of this. So on my first example, I put stars. On this example, I put repeating circles. You could do swirls, hearts, squares. Somebody in a class did tractors. Um, you could do, um, I could put paint brushes on here since I'm an art teacher. You can um, be creative and make up your mind about what you put in the background. When you're all done with that, you're gonna sharpie it and color it in, just like this one is. Okay, and now I wanted to talk to you about how we're going to do our face on one side. So if we look at this one, okay, I've already drawn a face on here, and I started with a straight line right here, a slanty line, and then a straight line up, okay? And then we'll worry about the top of our face in a minute. Right now, we just want to do the jaw line right here, okay? And remember, we're only drawing half of our face. So this one is on the other side, so I'm going to take maybe like three or four fingers from the bottom of my paper, and I'm gonna draw a straight line, okay? Maybe like two fingers wide, two or three fingers wide. Then I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna draw a slanty line, okay? And then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna draw a line that comes up. This is gonna be our jawline and I did that with this one the only thing that I did after I drew my three lines was I took my pencil and I rounded them a little bit and erased the corners on them so it wasn't so pointy okay so there is the, the bottom of my face okay now up here, what we want to do is put in, well, let's do our lips first. So I, I like to start with lines. I make a line where I think my lip goes, a line where my nose goes, and one line where my eye goes so I can tell where those, where those three things go. They're about equally spaced out. Two fingers, two fingers, two fingers. Okay, then on my lip, I can, since it's just half of my lip, I'm gonna start with a bump and make it come down. The bottom is just a straight curve line, okay? I could put a smile line if I wanted to. You can decide how you want to create it. My nose, I'm gonna erase this line. My nose is going to be a bump for where the middle is, and then one more bump, okay? So this is like where my nostril is. Okay, so it's like two bumps and then it comes up to the top 
And you can shadow in if you want to where your nostril is. My eye, I already have a line there, which actually helps us out. Because I'm going to start on one end, make a bottom curve line, and then on the other, the top, I'm going to make a curve line too. So this helps us to decide this is where my eye needs to start and end. So I go down, connect, up, connect. Okay, and then to make it look like a real eye, I need to erase my line in the middle and draw a good circle in there. Be very, very careful about drawing it a neat circle or it will not look like a real eye. Okay, and then we can add something like an eyelid, eyelashes, and an eyebrow. So my eyelid, I start in the middle corner and I make one line that goes up and above. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my eyelashes. My eyelashes start in the center and they go towards this corner of my paper. Okay, if you don't want eyelashes that long, you definitely don't have to. And then the other thing I do is I make one line for where my eyelid, no, sorry, my eyebrow is going to be. Okay, and then I can go back over there and your eyebrow is made of lots of little hairs. So we wanna make it look like that. So I do small little lines to make an eyebrow. Okay, all right. Last two things, hair and neck. So my neck, I'm just gonna go from this corner, make a straight line down. Kinda like a tree trunk. This one, I'm going to, let's see, we could make hair, let's put just an oval right here for an ear. You could make hair that goes scoopy hair like this if you want to do long girl hair or I could do boy hair and make like a zigzag line right here and make the top of my head a curve because the top of your head is always a curve okay so it's either going to be the front part is going to be um, like boy hair you could make it wavy or curly with curly lines um, if you have questions about your hair you can come ask me and I'll help you and then once you're done, we're going to work on coloring with skin colored markers and try and make it look as realistic as we can. Okay? Any questions, you can pause your video and raise your hand. Hope you have a good day.